Oh gosh. morning or whenever you're watching this it's morning for me here back in the Tennessee River you know so I'm doing the intro with my phone airpods because it is very windy this morning so we had a lot of rain last night a couple factors cold front came through so and we also have a, a very strong upstream wind so we have a lot of churn in the water I don't know what exactly that's gonna mean but if you notice behind me again you'll see downtown you're thinking like this is literally scruffy city fishing because I fish right near the city not always the case, but I have to go get my kids in a little while from school. And this is a, a random day I took off from work. And I uh, hope I can catch some fish. I really don't know where to start though. I was really hoping that I would find current coming downstream across rocks, which I have some right there. But uh, I'm gonna try to look for these places where maybe there's like a little bit of a pocket. And immediately I'm, like, I'm looking and I see right down this bank line. So I turn a little more, a little bit of pockets. Maybe this churn will isolate the fish a little bit i'm not sure this is a really long intro i'm sorry <laughs> but uh in one of my last videos i went out fishing in the same area with stash and bass so make sure you go check out his channel and uh, we caught some fish a little further upstream but gonna try to try some different spots may head all the way up there you see behind me there's some some small white caps but they're hiding a lot of uh junk floating in the water and you can see right there right there right there yeah there's a lot of it being caught on channel markers, so I'm going to try to avoid putting any holes in the boat and uh, see if I can use maybe the wind and the direction it's blowing to, to kind of isolate the fish. Let's hope anyways. So I haven't seen any bait fish, but we're going to go off what we saw over the weekend. Throw some bait fish type lures. This is just a white Kytec. I'm not often a big fan of white. But given all the stuff in the water, all the commotion, I wanted something that stood out a little more. If I feel like I'm getting some short strikes, I may actually dye the tail like chartreuse. We will see. Any kind of strike would be kind of nice. Here's people yelling on the shore back there. So this is Island Home Airport. If you sit here long enough, you can actually see some planes come in really low, depending on which direction the wind is blowing. But Hence the name Island Home Airport. It is an island. It has a really narrow channel on this side with lots of trees. And it looks like they probably cut down a lot of trees here to make the airport. There's a lot of stumps out here. So if you notice, there's a stump there. One on the water. There's another one on the water. If you ever try to come fish here, your bass boat, approach very slowly until you know the area really well. Because otherwise, you will be in the market for a new lower unit pretty quick, I'd say. I think I got some grass over there. Oh, I missed him. I ripped it out of that grass and a fish was waiting on it. I worried about that with this hook. This hook's lost to us. Not quite right. It seems like it's a little bit too small for this Kaisek. But I went with the weedless type hook because of all the grass. Looks like that probably cost me out the first fish of the day. Bites are sometimes hard to come by down through here, so I want to make sure that I uh, capitalize whenever possible. That's not a good start. This is kind of what I'm up against here. Still in his chatterbait, kind of rip it out of the grass. And uh, yeah, bringing back the salad again. I have seen some fish, or at least some small fish, kind of jump around in the path of the chatterbait. I think there's bait over there. So we're going to have to go to Old Reliable here in the Cinco. Let's see if I can get it far enough out there. It is a absolutely gorgeous day to do anything, unless you're a fisherman. <laughs> It is like 60 degrees, maybe a little cooler than that, but the sun is shining, the birds are chirping. 
and the fish are probably like nope high pressure is coming in the front just came through and then we have another front coming in over the next few days so kind of using the rule of if the only thing that's consistent for these fish is inconsistency maybe i'll still get a bite also you can't catch them when you're sitting on the couch I just had one heck of a bite. I was hoping I'll come back. If you notice, I've changed locations. I'm now on this small bluff. It's really tall, but it's kind of narrow. It's a really cool cave up there. You bring the kayak here, you can get close enough. There's a rope hanging out. You can up in there. But it is 15 or well, 14 feet deep. I'm trying to get this small jig to stay down there thought is, if I can keep something small down there, they're going to think, this is an easy amount. Oh yeah. This is a net fish. Oh, it's a big small mouth. Oh my gosh. Okay. Woo! Spot lock this thing. Come on now. Alright, I got him in the net. I get us away from this wall. Oh gosh, tank, look at that, whoo, okay, where's my phone, I'm going to keep him in the water as much as I can, I'm going to leave him hooked, so that if I drop my net or something, I won't lose him, i got to get a picture of this fish, sorry for all the chaos on the video, but good lord. I just got through giving myself a little pep talk and I'm like, hey, you don't catch fish today, it's okay. Another thing important, always get your butt more wet before you lay the fish on there. Again, I don't know how old this fish is. Come here, come here. Come here. Get the phone ready. He just touches 20. Touches 20. Man. Oh man. Absolutely made my day. And there is a Tennessee. Um, it's called TARP, it's Tennessee Angler Recognition Program. And I have a few of those on my wall at home from other big fish I've caught and other species. But a smallmouth 20 inches or bigger qualifies. So you get a little certificate, you gotta send a picture of it in on a measuring device. That's why I measured him. I don't normally measure fish that much, but that's pretty cool. I've got another one, another big one. I don't think it's as big. Keep this line tight. There's a school smallmouth right here. Wow, this current makes it so hard to land these fish. Woo! I appreciate your friend not telling you about the uh, situation that just happened. You almost be just chomping the crawdads down there. Oh, look how ticked off he is. Baby, look at that. That's probably a 16 incher. Snap picture of him. 
Gosh, these are beautiful fish. Look at those eyes. I talk about fish like some people talk about, like, you know, people they love. Because I love them. Look at it. Alright, buddy. Look at that. I'm going to put this slime on the boat right here and I won't ever clean it because this is an epic day. This might be bigger. Oh! Okay, I can't get too mad. I can't get too mad. That was a monster. It might be bigger than the first one. There's just a massive school of them sitting right there. I promise I'm getting excited. Oh. Some head shakes here, they're huge. It's a bigger one. It is a freaking bigger one. I saw its tail. Oh man, all this rod holds up. Oh man, he is mad. Okay, I'll play this dragon a little bit. I don't want to break. I've probably got. 12 pounds of slime on here. Holy crap. Are you a 20 inch or two? Are you a 20 inch or two? Oh. Look at that. Look at this fish. Look at that fish. You. Nineteen. Not quite as big. He might have fought harder though. Or she. I would say he. I'm gonna try to get a slow-mo without dropping my phone on the lake. to see if he wanted to come meet me he's taking care of some ill family today thought maybe he could pull away for a few minutes he cannot but stay tuned for another video i think we're going to come down here again Let's 
if I can catch one more. Alright, if you watch my video with me fishing with Sashin Bass, there was a last cast rule. I catch fish in the last cast, I get to throw another one. Well, thank you all for watching this far. I'm gonna go ahead and call it. I've gotta go and uh, get my little girl from school. I'm gonna pull the boat to the boat to the uh, kid pickup line. I'm sure they're gonna appreciate that. But just real quick before you go, today's hammer was this little guy right here. This is a Strike King Itsy Bitsy Bug, and I don't know what color it is. I just usually go with like more natural kind of, kind of colors when there's current, and uh, that is a Z-Man TRD Hog as a trailer. I did use a little bit of gulp attractant on there once the bite kind of slowed down. Didn't seem to make much of a difference. I still caught a few. And then the other lure, if you watched my other video where I was fishing in the same area recently, I didn't have a uh, flashy swimmer that was the right size for what I wanted. And look at that, I bought some. This is a three aught, I think maybe a eighth inch, or eighth ounce, sorry. It's on a KVD caffeine chat, I think it's what it's called. Um, but that right there is what I caught the rest of my fish on. So I think in all in all, maybe like seven or eight fish today. I don't know if I got them all on video. I got the big ones on video, a couple of small ones. But I appreciate you watching. Go ahead like, subscribe, do all the YouTube stuff. I appreciate it. Until next time. Thanks.